Tilder! This is a Sigma 18-35 on a GH5 on a Zhiyun Weevil S. There is no follow focus motor on it, but yet I can do this. I'm gonna show you how. Done! Roll that intro! What's going on everybody? You're watching Too Long Didn't Read Filmmaker, where the answers comes first, the reasons come last, but we're constantly and always still learning. So you already saw it in the very beginning. Yes, with a GH5 Sigma 18-35 on a Zhiyun Weevil S gimbal, you can actually pull focus through the lens without attaching a motor to it. Now before we get started, I want to thank Pergear for sending me out a unit of the Zhiyun Weevil S so that I could do these tests as well as provide a traditional review for you later down the line. This is amazing, especially if you're a narrative filmmaker, because as a narrative filmmaker, if you're doing a very complex gimbal shot, or maybe you're even doing a longer one take, and you're racking focus between certain subjects, you now can do it without having to use a motor, especially, again, if you've already invested in native prime lenses. Because if you wanted to use a native prime lens that has a fly-by-wire focus ring, you need to find a way to get a 360 seamless focus gear on these types of lenses and then have the regular follow focus motor be on free turning where it's going to turn forever forever because that's the only way you're going to be able to keep working with this lens so now you can save some money you don't have to do that with a gh5 you can do it natively simply by plugging it in to the USB-C port but without further ado let me just show you real quick what you need to set up in your gh5 and your Zhiyun Weeble s and then we'll get to the other stuff First, we're going to take our micro USB to USB-C cable that's included with your Weevil S, and we're going to plug the micro into the USB port that's nearest the tilt motor, and then take the USB-C and plug it into our GH5. From here, we can go ahead and turn on our gimbal after we have balanced it. Now, before you turn on the GH5, you need to make sure your Sigma's autofocus is turned on, and then from there, you can turn on the GH5 to which the GH5 is going to ask you what mode do you want to be in, and you want to make sure you select the PC Tether. From here, we're going to go into the menu system of the Weeble S, and we're going to scroll down to Wheel, press the right button. We're going to go to Function and make sure we select E-Focus for Electronic Focus. Then we're going to go to our Sensitivity, and specifically we're going to choose High for the Sigma 18-35. At this point, whenever you move the focus wheel, your Sigma lens will react to each movement. Now, if you want to do this with native Panasonic lenses or even Olympus lenses, this does work as well, as you can see here with the 25mm 1.7. This is so awesome that you are able to do this with a GH5 because with a GH5, if you're using native prime lenses like these or even the Olympus 12 to 40 zoom that I have, yes, all of these do work. You now have this very small setup on a gimbal. It's not taxing the gimbal in any, in any way and you are able to pull focus. And if you do want to use your Sigma 18 to 35, I had to use this quick release adapter to basically give some more weight. And yes, I do have full clear and I won't hit the eyepiece after I remove the little rubber bit. Now, some of you might be saying, but is it going to be enough because it's technically still a fly-by-wire system, so if you crank it really fast, it's not going to move a whole lot in the focus. You have to kind of figure out where the maximum refresh rate is so that you don't surpass it. And I'm going to tell you that you do not need to go from extreme close focus to extreme infinity focus. So, Thank you, side screen. Generally speaking, in a narrative shot, you're probably just going to start off with a person in a medium shot like this, and then maybe you'll get into a close up like this, and then you'll go further back. In this case, you're really, I'm about four feet, three and a half to four feet away from the camera for this specific shot. And then over here, I'm about six feet away, and then infinity. Generally speaking, on a lens, all these lenses don't act linearly, which means you really don't have to move a whole lot of that focus wheel to get these different shots. So in terms of using it on a narrative walk and talk scene or even just trying to get some action going on, you really don't have to move the focus wheel too much and therefore you should be able to get the shot. Now, is this the perfect solution? Not really because it is still technically fly by wire and repeatability might be a hassle. You're gonna have to do it pretty much on the fly. So if you want to have really, really finite control, then you're gonna have to go the traditional route, which is to get yourself a lens that does have a mechanical 
mechanical focus ring, preferably one that has a very long focus throw so you can do very finite adjustments, and then of course using a physical motor to move the focus ring. Now are there other cameras that can actually do this? Yes and no. I saw one person talk about it very, very briefly with a Canon M50. So I don't know if it's just for electronic lenses, if it's just for that camera specifically, if the EOS R and RP and R5, are they going to be able to do it? I don't know. In terms of the Sony a7S III that I'm currently filming this talking head portion right now, it does not work. So the GH5 as of right now, is probably the best bet to get things working based on my tests. So where do we go from here? Well, if you're a GH5 user and you're still going to be sticking with it, you now have another tool set, especially if you have electronic native lenses, that now you can do some very dynamic one-take shots and pull focus no problem. In terms of Sony, please do something because I would love to fly the Sony a7S III without having to use autofocus in certain cases, because sometimes I'm gonna be jumping between two characters and I wanna be able to do that by manually moving it. And if for some reason this is already in the computer app, then Suying, please, I ask you, please look more into the Sony camp and try to get this working like you did with the GH5. In terms of other use cases, so Ying does have a wireless remote that does have a finger wheel. And from what I can tell, yes, you can operate the focus motor, but if you have it in electronic focus mode, I'm assuming you could still pull focus. I'm gonna try to see if I can get a hold of this wireless remote so I can do some more tests for you, as well as building my own Minity that some people have started building with the Weeble S. Basically, if you know what the RE Trinity Steadicam it's basically a gimbal on a steady cam. That thing is amazing. So if I'm able to build something like that with a wireless follow focus and not having to use something like a nano or what have you, and basically have everything contained, then guys, as we as you guys start thinking about how to do one takes and really creative projects, the ability to pull focus and get these super smooth shots and not having to spend an arm and a leg on an RE Trinity setup, well, this is gonna be very interesting, and I'm going to try to do as much as I can to see how can I play with this idea. And hey, that is it for this week, everybody. If this video has made all the influence in your purchasing decisions, I would truly appreciate it if you check out my Amazon affiliate links down below. Again, this costs nothing extra to you, just gives me a little compensation so I can continue making videos like this for you. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down below. I will get to them as fast as I can. And until then, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next one.